George Pickens. DLF at January startup AP was wide receiver 25. Key trade cut today, wide receiver 26. 10.4 half PPR points per game on a 20.9% target share. We did see a few games in the middle of the season where we really got to see George Pickens be the talent that we thought he could be coming into the NFL, that a lot of people thought he could be coming into the NFL. But, you know, it's just that little small section of time that it happened. You know, like there's still been all this other stuff happening around with the offensive system that's been going on, the quarterback play, his his route tree is not very developed for the offense. They just keep having him run go routes, not enough stuff uh, going on there. And the QB play has obviously been really bad, some of the worst in the league. There's also not much hope for that changing in the future, I would say, you know, especially a QB like, well, they're not really a position to draft a new QB, not one of the highly thought of ones. So what are they going to do there? Are they going to aggressively go after a free agent? Possibly. Who's that going to be? Um, Arthur Smith now in his OC. I don't know if people have a lot of confidence in that helping George Pickens. Uh, I, I certainly don't. Uh, I think he helps Najee Harris and Jalen Warren a lot, uh, but I don't know about George Pickens. Dave. Do you have any excitement for George Pickens going into this next year? See, I've never been a huge George Pickens guy. And that's, this is where I just know I have some bias where I'm not a huge George Pickens guy. So I have to try, I'm trying to take that out and give some reasonable analysis and I just can't do it. So no, but no, but no, uh, no, <laughs> no <laughs> in all seriousness, no, what you said, I, I just don't see the situation changing. I, I don't see the quarterback like you had a lot has to happen for things to change for George Pickens. And he had 106 targets on a 23 on, on a, like a, tw on, on my stats. I only go through week 17, like a 20, approximately a 23% uh, target share. I, he's basically has to jump another 30 targets to see a huge in, bump in, in value. And you're going to, I just, I don't know how you're going to get there. And the problem is talented wide receivers do that. So you, when you start to play with numbers, you're like, and, and you get these nerds, these spreadsheet nerds saying, well, I, I, I can't get my projections to line up that way for this player to, to reach that value. That's a flaw. That's a, I think that's some bad judgment. So that's where some, I'm, I'm making even bad arguments against myself as I'm talking to myself in circles here. But ultimately, that's a lot of hua to say, I don't necessarily know how you can get to where people want George Pickens to be. And so in that case, I'd rather pivot, pick up some draft capital and go to a Mike Evans or a veteran, because I know these people are afraid to death of these older wide receivers, and I'm not. I will ride them into the sunset as I keep. I'll take the Mike Evans and try to get hit the next uh, Jaden or Jaden Reed or the next Tank Dell. You know, try to pick up value that way, or pick, hit a running back in the mid second round as I try to churn my roster that way and just get the points that I'm going to get with George Pickens without the necessarily the risk of the volatility of what's going on in that Pittsburgh offense. I'm with you. I'm behind both of these valuations here from the two different spots that we have. Uh, personally, it's in for me, it's mainly because like, I just don't have much confidence in the offense and the QB. Maybe, you know, Russell Wilson goes and signs there and I'll start to feel a little bit differently. Uh, I still think he's got that moon ball that I think would be pretty good for George Pickens, but it is just hard, hard to have confidence at this point. Um, Todd, do you have confidence in George Pickens? Before I get into George Pickens, man, we have a classic Dave recording. We have a, a Christian Kirk reference, probably <laughs> the first of like three. And I'm waiting. And Huey, we got Huey in there. I like the Huey. Um, George Pickens is a sell and a half, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. I want nothing to do with the Pittsburgh passing offense right now. Um, Arthur Smith literally had every single weapon he possibly freaking could in Atlanta. And look what he did there. He's going to do that. He's going to improve with Kenny Pickett. Come on. No. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Like Pickens had some huge games. He's an unbelievable talent. He's a total freaking head case too. So you don't even know sometimes if he's going to be able to keep himself like out of trouble at times, you know? My opinion is with a George Pickens, with all the volatility, you're going to get that. He's kind of a little maddening to own, too. You're going to have to treat him kind of like Mike Evans. Like, Mike Evans is a beast when he's a beast. And then there's weeks where you're like, two points, Mike? You know what I mean? So, like, with Pickens, it's like you're also not going to get as many of those big games as you would in, with, like, you would have with an Evans. Get off Pickens. Sell him now. Like, I would try to put him with something else and try to get up. Just always get up. You know, when people are talking about like, you know, 
a lot of people were talking about trading back when we were talking about trading back with JSN and go for Evans. I'm more of it put something with it to get up, get up in value. You know, I want to I want to max out on the young guys. I don't want to move back from the young guys and stockpile. You know, so I feel like you put something with Pickens, you can try to improve over what Pickens is because I there's a very good chance that his stock does not go up this year and just go significantly down. So I'm out on Evan on Pickens. I just I just want to I have three shares of him this right now in the cross teams. I hope to have zero by September. <laughs> Skyler, are are you selling as well? Um well, I don't want everyone to come in on this video a year from now or three months from now. Sorry, six, six, seven months from now, we have football back. And George Pickens, who I believe is very talented. We said, and you hear in the intro to the full video, um, you know, 2022 wide receiver class. You hear it every time. And he was one of those names we were like, if we look back five years from now and he's just like the best wide receiver in the class, it wouldn't shock us. And that isn't what it was in what we thought was a very talented wide receiver class. Um, but with George Pickens, first off, I want to say, Todd, don't throw out maturity issues with George as a negative to George Pickens when you just gave us a one minute and 43 second speech hyping up Zay Flowers. So I'm good. You're going to, you're going to, whoa, 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 whoa. One there's on, a huge difference Pickens. between Zay Flowers and George Pickens. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I, I digress, yeah, you know, Skyler, Skyler, rule number one, when you record Todd, never bring up a past argument that you were lucky to get out of it on time. <laughs> never go backwards. Always go forward. Uh, he led wide receivers in yards per reception. Um, his yards per team passing attempt was top 12. His unrealized air yards was 16th. I think, I think it's pretty clear cut here that George Pickens in order for him to find consistency, he needs the quarterback play. Will they have it? It, I would guess no, but that's, it is a short term approach. I'm going to, if I'm going to be positive here on George Pickens, I think he's a very talented player. He's somebody I think could give us multiple top 24 seasons. Should he find himself in a better situation? I'll also note that Deontay, Johnson for the you know has a contract with a five million dollar out on it this year and who knows how that's going to play out he hasn't been one who's had the best relationship with the team over the last three years to begin with um so there could always be kind of built-in growth there as well in terms of the team target share I also know that 23 percent isn't that bad but Pittsburgh also wasn't very pass happy offense it's the kind of thing with like a player like Mike Evans when his target share was lower and well, they were passing a ton with Tom Brady, you know, it wasn't a problem. And then this year it kind of leveled out His target share went up. They didn't pass quite as much. I think that's something here where, you know, down the line with George Pickens, uh, if the target share stays around there, it just depends what the team, uh, how they're playing football. Um, it, it is concerned. He is very frustrating. I will give Todd that because he had five blow up games, like five games where he gave you 15, 20, 25, 30 points. And every, every other game was a dud. I also just want to put some respect on Mike Evans name and say, that's not how Mike Evans is. He might give you one or two, two point weeks, but other than that, if Marshawn he, he, gives, he gives player. you more steady production. Um, but with George Pickens, the answer to whether I'm buying or selling, if that's people's question at what price point it comes down to your league. Because if, I'm sitting there with Todd or Dave and they see Arthur Smith, which I know he was terrible. So there's immediately this stench that follows him. But I've, I've seen some manners where now suddenly they're valuing George Pickens 112 to a one. And I'll, if I'm a team who's got, you know, if I'm a team who's good already, I have a 112. So George Pickens is coming in as my wide receiver five, six. So it's not necessary. He has to be in my lineup right away, but it could always, if you're in a deeper league, fill that final flex and the 30 point game wins me a week. I don't have to play him. I'm going to send my 112 for George Pickens. He's more talented than that. But if you have a league where they look at the talent, they see the highlight reel. They know how good he is. They see the spike games and they value him as like, you know, a top 24 wide receiver, which I also think could be reasonable. There's no way I am buying George Pickens. And if a manager values him that highly, I'm going to do exactly what Todd said and try to use George Pickens to go up to another wide receiver. So put George, George Pickens with something small and go move up to someone else. Or I'm even comfortable actually moving back. I think if with George Pickens, a whole group after him, um, a lot of the guys in the Deontay Johnson group, Hollywood Brown group, even a Christian Kirk group. I mean, if you can give me, you know, Christian Kirk and an early second and get George and 
awful of George Pickens. I don't hate that deal, but also I'm buying George Pickens if he is around that that pick itself. So I think it really comes with your lead dynamic. I've seen it all across the board amongst the leagues that I both play in and the leagues that we commission through the Discord. And I think it really just comes down to that. I think it's worth having the conversation with the manager in your league, or at least when you're going through their roster to get what they think about them. Maybe see if anywhere else in your group chats or on their Twitter or in your Discord, if they've made any comments on George Pickens, and then go look and run and see if they're on their roster. Uh, I think it's worth looking into because I really do like the player. I just hate the Pittsburgh passing offense. It's not a player I want to count on for production. And I know, again, some of you guys love George Pickens, and he finished higher than we thought he would in the year, but it still wasn't a difference maker at the end of the day. And I don't know if that necessarily changes in the short term. But um, there's my wishy-washy answer on George Pickens. It depends. I like your wishy-washy answer better than my wishy-washy answer. And I, I, I will just, well, mine wasn't that, actually that wishy-washy, but I will say whenever I'm listening to or consuming content and I hear everyone saying is a sell or um, the majority is sell and there's not a ton of great opportunities, I don't think that person's really a sell. That's actually somewhere like, well, I think everyone kind of agrees with me. I think I maybe should go see if I can go and get that player because if I can, if I can, a 201, mm -hmm. 112, and, and try to work it that way. I think that's a sm smart play than just being totally out. And I think that's the best way to go about it because I, I think that's when we're talking true buy or sell, if everyone's in agreement, maybe that the buy or sell opportunity isn't as clear as you think it is, especially with Arthur Smith and the whole narrative that goes. It's very easy to go. I love zagging um, or zigging or zag, whatever it's called, uh, against narratives. And Arthur Smith is a huge narrative right now. Yeah, <laughs> I just I got myself confused there. I was like, I'm looking for time here. Basic things in like our language, dude. Come on, get it zig. together, right? Am I gonna zig or am I gonna zag? I don't know. I'm gonna zigzag, and you guys can pick which one I'm gonna do. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll give you a trade on him because we were discussing with someone uh, recently in within the Patreon, uh, George Pickens for Jameson Williams and a and, a, and a, the 401. Give me George Pickens. Yeah, so, all day. Like slam dunk. You know, Jamo Jamo just had two touchdowns. I think. You know, yeah. I'm just throwing out an example there. Yeah, yeah. that would if, be moving. If that's the price point, you're way league, back. I'm, I'm taking Pickens yeah. on. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, and before we move on, real quick, uh, Skyler hit on something a, a little, little thing, a little technique that I really like for your league, and that's uh, when you're thinking about possibly buying a player, selling a player, and your league mate is on Twitter. Go search their name and that player name. Just see what they've been saying, what they have possibly said over the last six months. Maybe you can get a little insight on a deal before you go make it. But we're going to – If, oh, if you're ahead. not in Twitter, just go into your group chat and just talk trash about that player before you send them <laughs> off. Like, and just see what the reaction is. And just like – Yeah, just really – that, awesome. is, that is a thing too. Like That's send a – That's snake oil salesman. Yeah, or like if a piece of news comes out, like just send that piece of news to your league feed and just see what people say. If people say anything. You don't have to do it. You don't really have to actually do anything, say anything yourself. You're just sitting there, see if people say anything. They might give something away to you. Here we are, 2024. Dave's telling you to go dirty, Mac, on, on, <laughs> on some trade deals. Go talk I dirt. I would and love offers. to watch Dave attempt how to do that. I would love <laughs> to see that that attempt. All right, Jason sucks, Todd. All right, I'm going to come in. That's not as good as he was, we thought. 